Hi everyone, your pal Ralph here with another vlog. So I did quite a bit of recording today. Actually, only two videos, but still, one of them took a long time, which was the first bonus episode of Nino Kuni. It was like an hour-long recording, like cut down to like 40 minutes, just because there's a lot of just traveling around. But um, yeah, I don't know how long or how many bonus episodes of Nino Kuni there are gonna be, but. I mean, I, I'll gradually record them, I guess. I don't know when I'm going to start uploading them, but who knows? I might be done with that, like, by the time this vlog comes. I have no idea. But um, the other thing I recorded was the second episode of the next Let's Play. You know, unless Amori comes out, because then that could just throw a whole wrench into things. But um, I've said this before, but it's a DS game. I'm not going to flip it over because that's going to spoil what it is just in case, but... It's my first time doing a DS Let's Play, so it's interesting um, exporting this video. It's like a 23 minute long video, and exporting it, so I, I'm like four minutes in, it's, it's going to take about an hour to fully export this, which is weird. I'm not used to videos taking that long to export with this, with this laptop, but it's... I guess there's just a lot going on because I technically have like two um I I'm exporting like both of the screens a background so um editing DS stuff is weird to say the least I mean I've done Ocarina of Time 3D which is a 3DS game but that's different because with a 3DS game most of the time the um the the top screen is the main screen because like it's wider and like the bottom screen is um like mainly for menus and things like that but with a ds game both screens are the same size and sometimes a game will mostly be focused on the top screen or mostly be focused on the bottom screen sometimes it will mix and match both so with the current game I'm doing, it focuses on the touch screen a lot, but there are some moments where I want to show off like both screens like vertically like a DS would normally. And like the way I do it for most of the episode is like I'll have like the bottom screen be like the main focus where it'll be like this side here is like this space is going to be for like the the main screen, which in this case is the bottom screen. And then like down here is where the top screen or the the secondary screen is but again there are like there are some instances where i want to show like both at the same time so like i'll have like an effect where um like the top screen will move up here and then like the bottom screen will move like down here so doing things like that has been an interesting learning process and i guess like showing both screens technically at the same time even if one screen is bigger than the other like for like 90 percent of the video it's weird like I don't, it's hard for adobe premiere to handle that because the video even though a ds game isn't at this resolution the video is a 1080p video at 60 frames a second so technically having like the two screens which are um two different sequences I don't know if this is a technical talk that's like gonna be hard to follow but um like there are two sequences that are both like at 60 frames a second and trying to put that into like a 1080p video is a bit much for adobe premiere to handle i guess with this laptop so um editing it was kind of pushing it and now exporting it is taking longer than a normal video would but it's an interesting learning process and I like it because I'm doing something I've never done before and it's it's fun I mean the game I'm playing I am having fun with don't get me wrong but like the editing aspect of it is something I'm enjoying very very much and I can't wait to see how like the other episodes of this go just because this game isn't going to be like a super super long game I don't I don't think it's going to go over like 30 episodes. It might, but um, it's going to be an interesting like learning experience going through this Let's Play. Because that's really what this Let's Play is. It's like a test for me to learn how to do DS games 
in a way that I want to. Anyways, that's, um, before I end off this vlog, I have a little treat, because treats are fun. This is a cookie. Not a normal cookie, because it's purple. It is an ube cookie. Um, I believe either a few days ago or like sometime soon, um, my cousin-in-law next door, um, their birthday is coming up, or has already happened, and weekends usually in the family like are a way to celebrate that. So, to celebrate, um, they made these purple cookies. It's a flavor called ube, and actually, um, a lot of people might like recognize this flavor from like Steven Universe, but this is something like I've grown up with like, the ube flavor, namely like ube ice cream. It's like a sweet yam type thing, but I haven't tried this cookie yet. It's good. Oh, ube sticko products are really good too. But sticko is just a good. They're like chocolate, or like they're like wafer sticks or something. But they are really good. So, ube, I like a lot. Like any anything ube. Actually, I do want to try to make the ube roll from Steven Universe because that looked really really good. But yeah, it's good. I should get more of these. Or oh, have my cousin in law make more of these. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna end it off here because I'm I'm talking with my mouth full. I shouldn't do that. But um, yeah. Um, what was I doing? Ending it off. Um. So, anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and see y'all next time for another vlog. Later. Here's really good. Hmm.